Hey everybody, I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you all had a very nice uh, Wednesday hump day out there. I just finished a oh an amazing frozen treat just a few minutes ago. Um, frozen bananas and fresh cut mango. Woof! Man, I'll tell you what, it, that is just about as good as it gets. I used to freeze both, but I have found that if I freeze my mangoes and I just add my, um, my if I freeze my bananas and I just add my mangoes in there fresh cut, it has a little bit better uh, mango taste to it. So just another little tip for you. Uh, today I want to talk about a simple raw food diet tip for beginners. Um, guys, I do videos every day, so if you haven't already done it, please go down and hit that red subscribe button now. Then click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. Um, this tip I've talked about before, and this is about as basic as it gets, but people don't tend to don't seem to do it. And it's all about being prepared, um, especially if you're a beginner, especially if you're struggling on this lifestyle. And I recommend, I think a certain amount of preparedness is good for everybody. But if you're new or if you're struggling on this lifestyle, don't think like, oh, well, that's kind of silly. Take, take that preparation to whatever level you need to do it. Take that preparation to a level that's going to make this thing work for you. I'm a big believer in out of sight, out of mind. So one of the first things I always recommend, this is leading up to the tip, but one of the first things I always recommend is making your environment, environment friendly. Get rid of the junk. Once you've switched over this lifestyle, get rid of the junk and start replacing it. Start replacing it with what you're going to be eating every day. Now, some people may, be, may not have total control over their space. Maybe you've got a family. Maybe you have roommates. Maybe you whatever. If you've got roommates, you just have to kind of divide your brain. Well, I mean, you know, even if you still ate this stuff, you know, unless you're a shitty roommate, you don't eat your roommate's food. Okay? Family. Okay, maybe you've got family that's not eating this same way. Well, you just have to compartmentalize in your brain. You have to be like, this is their food. This is my food. I don't eat this anymore. Listen, I, I pretty much know from day one I could have lived in a meat locker or I could have lived next door to where they stored cheese because once I wasn't going to eat that stuff anymore, it really wasn't a big deal for me. But some people can't have it around. Um, but if you're sharing space, you just got to do the best that you can do. Maybe even if you have to just compartmentalize and have one particular cabinet or something that is just your food and just focus on your food. And also too, okay, well, we won't talk about the negatives. If you can't get rid of the good stuff, just be sure you have, I mean, if you can't get rid of all the bad stuff in your house due to other people, just be sure you got plenty of the good around all the time. Now in my house, and I don't have a problem doing this, at any given time I just was uh, looking uh, just out of curiosity. I've probably got about, oh I don't know, 150, 200 bananas in the house. Um, I'm a little low on, right, on um, frozen bananas as I made some nice cream this morning, but I've got about Oh, 20 bananas in the freezer. I've got blueberries in the freezer. I've got two cases of these. I got two ripe pineapples sitting over there. I got some kale in the bottom of the fridge right there. So now if you're living alone, even if you didn't, even if you struggle on this lifestyle, think about it. If you lived alone and you just had, and you had your house set up just like I do, Okay, sure, you can get in the car. You can go get it, most of you can, I would say. You can go get in the car, ride up to the store, and get whatever you want to. But chances are less that you're gonna do that. If you get hungry and something's here, chances are you're gonna eat what is there. So, you know, just keeping things available on hand is very, very important. Now let's take this a step further. Um, because, you know, if you get, when you get hungry, all this stuff has to be prepared. Oh, also too, I got a salad in there. I'm about to make a salad here in a little bit, but everything as you see it right now has to be prepared. So what if you have one of those freak outs, you know? What if you get one of those like, okay, I'm hungry and you just need to eat right that minute. Sometimes when you're hungry, your brain's not working right. So you need to eat right that minute. So that's when it's even, if, if you're that person, do whatever you got to do. Like I keep saying in here, you might have to take it to a way further level than anybody else. 
if you're, you know, maybe you need to keep some food, some of this food prepared. Um, I used to do this a lot when I was in Costa Rica. It just was convenient. Cut up a big fruit bowl. Keep, cut yourself up a big bowl of mixed fruit. Keep it in the refrigerator. Um, another thing I do like to do, I don't have that much of it right now, but I made nice cream this morning and I have a little bit of uh, leftover in there. Now that's something that I've started doing quite frequently is I make more nice cream than I plan on eating in a sitting and I'm, I pretty much all the time have nice cream in the refrigerator, in the freezer. So that's something else you can do too. And that's real quick. Boom, you know, like think of uh, the le think about making it the shortest path to food for you if uh, you really need food. You're going to tend to freak out less and go make bad decisions. Say if you've got nice cream in the refri in the freezer. Boom, you don't have to think about it, prep it, da 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 da. Make it. It's there. You eat it. You got your fruit bowl in the freezer. You eat it. You can do this with a number of different things. You can keep uh, keep fresh vegetables around for snacking. Um, carrot sticks, uh, celery sticks, uh, my favorite that I've shown in videos, cucumber chips, just you know, slicing cucumbers up. And that's where some of those dips that I've shared would come into play because it's not always gonna be a sweet thing. Even with me, that's the thing with me sometimes and I think I might go get some celery today and do a celery juice is sometimes when I've gone really heavy on fruit, really heavy on sweet, and I've just been sweet, 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 sweet. I just have a taste for something that's not sweet. So having different things around will help. So if you have those veg, you know, if you've got carrot sticks, you've got um, celery sticks, you've got cucumber slices, say go make yourself that eggplant um, dip that I made a while back that, um, what was the other one? What was the other one? Zucchini hummus. But any of those different like dips, Keep you some dips and keep you something to uh, dip them with in there. Um, so right there, you've got your, you know, you've got the the fruit for your sh sweets. You've got the the snacks. You know, you've got dips. Uh, you could even make yourself another other types of if you eat. Uh, you know, uh, beans, chickpeas, whatever, you could have regular hummus, but keeping things around and keeping different things around that are ready to go. Whatever level of preparation you need to do, in other words, that the takeaway of this message today is just like the Boy Scouts, be prepared, be prepared all the time. Um, and that way, it, now the next level of preparation or being prepared all the time is when you leave the house. Now that's not exactly my forte because I'm not big into doing the whole production of carrying things around. I think, I swear to God, I think that's a YouTube, Instagram thing, just like, Ooh, I've got something cute to share today. I'll bring out my little now. Screw that. I just like to power up, but don't be afraid to do that. Just keep some bananas in your car. I think bananas are the, I think that's the easiest. You don't get your hands messed up a lot. It's not a lot of trouble. Just keep some bananas in your car. If you always keep, now I have done that on occasion when I'm going to be somewhere, not necessarily when I've been here, but I have done that on occasion where I'll keep like six or seven bananas in the car you know, just to get me through situations, but you know, you keep it in the car, keep it with you, know where you're going. If you are, now if you are gonna be out all day, I don't wanna to totally diss that with my lazy self. If you are gonna be out all day, maybe you work out of the house, yeah, then just carry the preparation over to your next setting. You know, take something with you to work. If you know, you know, don't go up and down the hall to the vending machine. If you, if you eat lunch or, and there's no place to go out and eat a healthy lunch or whatever you're eating, bring your lunch with you. Bring snacks with you. I would really, if you work in an office, I would always say bring a little bit of food with you just in case. Even if it's just, you may not want to bring a bag of bananas. You look kind of like a savage in a corporate office, but maybe you can chop yourself up some bananas and put them in a little container of some sort. But yeah, definitely if you're going out of the house, if you work out of the house or if you're away from the house, going to school or whatever for eight, nine or plus hours a day, yeah, definitely um, carry something with you. And hey, even in the case of an emergency, even sometimes like I've even carried like a Lara bar or, um, you know, some Something that's more like that just but that's more like emergency situations I don't really eat that stuff um, on a regular basis in fact I 
think I bought some Lara bars one time when I was traveling and that was a good idea. Um, the nuts will get away from you, but sometimes even having, if you want to, if you have a problem with nuts, then don't just carry a big bag with you, but sometimes even having combinations if you're leaving the house, because you never know, maybe if you're gonna be out for a long time, you might have more than just one thing. You might have some fruit, you might have some nuts or seeds, whatever. But it doesn't matter. I'm just throwing a bunch of different things so you can imagine a bunch of different scenarios. Be prepared and don't feel silly taking that preparation to whatever level that you need to do to make it work for you because uh, there, people just aren't really trying. They're not trying. They're saying, oh, I want to do this. And then they're like, they speak and they're like, well, you're not really trying all that much. You just kind of want it to fall into your lap. Um, you know, I don't know. This I have I relate differently because this has just been a natural thing to me. But if you're struggling, you're probably going to have to work at it a little bit. You're probably I think a lot of people think just one day they're going to wake up and magically it's happened to them. You know, like now that's all I want. My body just wants these raw foods and vegetables. Um, but do like I say, you know, it might be easy for some people. It may not be easy for you. So you do what works for you. Anyhow. Hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.